potentially uh, facing Paul Daly in the future? Um, I'm just here to fight. I fight for Showtime, and um, I have a manager, so, <laughs> you know, it's, it's whatever. I don't know what's going on. But if that fight work, was to happen, they'll have to work that out. How do you see that fight possibly going if that fight was to take place? Uh, I see me putting punches on him, and um, you know maybe him try to take me down too and get caught in a choke, something like that. Um, or <clears throat> he can run me. He can run. Or he can run from me, and I run him down, and then uh, I run him down, take him down, and beat him, beat him on the ground. I don't know. You know, I don't. I don't know. You can see. I can see that fight going a lot of different ways. You know, it's whatever. Uh, I'm not really impressed with with. Uh, Paul Daly, and, you know, as a mixed martial artist, he just got great stand-up. Sure, he hits, he hits, you know, has good knockout power. Um, and, and you know, I wouldn't judge him from the Scott Smith fight. You know, that's a matchup for Scott Smith. He hits a little bit harder, and Scott Smith, you know, I know who Scott Smith is. You got to remember, um, I live in, you know, like Stockton and Lodi. He lives in El Grove, right down the road. This guy has never come down to work out with me. Um, in the past, you know, we start. We made our debut in the same day, in like a Warriors Challenge, and this guy has never done anything to up his game by like coming to training, learning jujitsu, becoming more technical, having better sparring. Uh, I used to work out at Kickboxing Inc. Um, with Eric Regan and and Chris Cruz and a bunch of uh, guys out there that you know, really good pro boxers. And he would come in once in a while and he would work out in the cardio kickboxing class. And I always knew, you know, that's not going to help him, this guy. So he does, he does his tie bow or whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then, and then Paul Daly knocks him out. And everybody's like, oh, look at Paul Daly. He knocks this guy out quicker than you. And I'm like, well, pfft. you know. I went out I made a show on Scott Smith because I knew that was the guy to do that to. And um, he was foolish for taking a fight with me in the first place. He, uh, he was foolish for not um, coming to trade with me for his other fights that he lost too because I'm right down the road. And... Um, you know, he was he was provided the opportunity more than once. I even ran into him once or twice at Fairtex before we ever fought, and he avoided training. So, you know, I don't have any faith in guys like this that have the opportunity to better themselves and don't do it. And, uh, you know, so he loses to Paul Daly, so, you know, whatever. Uh, you know. Hey, Champa, Crew Dan Plasma, Y Crew. Um, I just wanted to ask you, in your last match, it was a lot more technical than tonight when you did really great against a pressure fighter, which you seem to be an expert at. Um, you switched uh, out of southpaw into a conventional stance against KJ Nunes, who's considerably less of a, a threat than the guy you faced tonight. Um, tonight, for maybe a split second, you switched into a conventional stance. Are you planning on fighting out of conventional as opposed to southpaw in the future like you did in your last matchup? You no, know, it's just depending on uh, certain fighters who fight certain people a certain way. And um, I didn't. I don't. I didn't feel like taking those leg kicks to the outside of my leg, so I stayed that way. And um, I felt I had more reach on him, and he didn't have any punches for me, so I was gonna be able to to uh, land the jab and put more punches on him, um, standing on the outside like that. And it worked out. So I, I think that was a better idea. I even switched it up a little bit, uh, and you know I switched back because it was just the way to fight that guy. I believe. Uh, Jake, do you have any thoughts on uh, Ty Tyrone Woodley as a possible future opponent? What do you think of him? You know, I don't want to. I don't want to talk bad about anybody, and you know, I don't. I don't have any anything about him that impresses me. So this, you know, I don't know much about him. I hear he's a wrestler, and I didn't think he was a wrestler. You know, um, when I first saw him. So now that I hear he's a wrestler, it's it's whatever. You know, just I was like, okay, but um, you know, I'm sure he's. You know, got a lot of potential, and um, I, you know anybody that makes it in here to fight in Strike Force has obviously got a lot of potential. So you know that's the best thing I'm gonna, I'm gonna be able to say about anybody that they have in mind to fight me out here. Um, I, I don't believe that anybody's ranked right now. So um, you know, of course, I'm interested in fighting people who are ranked above me and up in my status in um, as a mixed martial arts fighter, but. Um, you know, it's whatever, you know, like I said, um, I fight for uh, Scott Coger here, and, and they'll have to work that out, whatever I'm going to be doing. So. Josh? Yeah.
Yeah, if they do match you with Daly, do you think he'll approach the same way as he did tonight? Um, I don't know. I might just do karate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how do you think that was fair? Some woo, woo shoot. <laughs> he, he's, a, he's a guy that kicks really hard. I mean, he, he, some of the things he does, he's a better puncher than, than Cyborg. Do you think it'd be a mistake to stand in front of him the way he did? Um, Cyborg? No, no, I don't. I, I think that. I think that. Um, I think that if I'm going to be fighting Paul Daly, I'm going to have to get in there and we're going to have to see how that's going to be. But I'm not going to have any further comments towards that fight that I don't even know if it is or isn't going to happen. And if it is, I definitely, you know, I'm, I'm done commenting on how I'm going to fight that guy. So I'm sure he knows what's going to happen to him if he steps in there to fight me. I'm sure that everybody that steps in there to fight me knows what I'm going to bring to the table. And uh, all they can really do is just try to talk, down talk me and, and minimize what I've done in the past and what what I might do to them, you know, so. Uh, Nick, quick, quick question. I know we've probably talked about mayhem way too much right here, probably sick of it. Um, and I think it's ridiculous that he would think that you should go up, you're the champ. What if he says, finally meets at 178, just for the fans and to shut them up, would you be interested in that fight? I don't think that'll be a title fight. You know, I'm fighting for a title, so if I'm, I'm not going to be fighting for the title, then like I said, you know, they can go ahead and work that out. I already said I'll fight. I'll fight at 185 pounds. I don't care. I'll fight at that weight. You know, can can you know? As far as I'm concerned, I don't. You know, I don't care. I'll fight anybody. But you know, can you make it worth my while, please? You know, this is you know. This is hard stuff, it's not easy. I train hard every day. I work more than seven, six, eight hour days every day. And they're harder than your eight hour days of holding a camera or, you know, <laughs> going to work and it's different, you know? You can't do this what I do, you know? So I think that, you know, when he talks. Oh, you know, that's funny. Or look at, or look at, I can just, you know, fight at 170 and defend the title, right? You know? Yeah. I mean, I'm going to give myself extra problems, you know, can we, you know? Here, here's the thing, guys. You know what? I mean, you know, Nick, the fighter, you know, Nick's not afraid to fight anybody. And we've had several talks, but, you know, at uh, 170, we have some great fights for him, and we look forward to fighting him at, uh, at all different kind of weights if we have to, or let him fight at 170. But uh, I'd like to just um, um, talk about one thing, a couple things real quick. We did a fan drawing uh, on our website uh, for uh, many different categories. Fabricio had submission of the year, we had knockout of the year, we had all these great, and we had over 100,000 fans vote uh, for their favorite fighter and their uh, favorite fight, and Nick Diaz won both of them. And uh, I'd like to bring those uh, awards up for Nick Diaz Strike Force Fighter of the Year. And Nick Diaz Fighter of the Year. It was great news Gentlemen, over here for a second, please.